Welcome back to another episode of, of David and Allison Reacts to Sister Wives. Allison, you're wearing a lot of sweatshirt right now. Are you warm? I am. I'm kind of soft, too. Do I feel cuddly? You did. Very cuddly. Mm-hmm. Where have you been? I, um, I had strep throat, and then I went to Boston. Let's talk about how you notified me that you had strep throat, and then you said, don't use your toothbrush. Wasn't my finest moment. <laughs> Gross. So you're obviously getting rid of a lot of things. What are you going to do with the stuff that's tied into 32 years of memory? So Cody was here the other day, and he's like, "You're not keeping this. Isn't it sentimental? Sentimental, sentimental for a divorce, broken marriage?" <laughs> Is that how you see it? <laughs> I'm really struggling with this guy. Sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> I'm struggling with him too. Like. Is that how you see it? How else do you see it? Well, he's this guy's got a he's walking a fine line because Cody's his best friend, but he comes across. This is the second time I've seen him on the show, <laughs> and he always comes across like he's got three brain cells. Yes, he d- yes. I, I just really like. Is that it? Just like this, this sort of like. Is that how you see it? Impartial. Oh, is that how you see it? And it's like, come on, buddy. We're, we're, process this and react to it authentically yes and if you're not gonna like add any value or like add anything to the conversation don't bring it up (laughs) (laughs) that's a good point like why are you bringing it up and then being like right he should say if he's gonna bring it up he should say i think you gotta keep it or Or, yeah uh, yeah Uh, i i don't know what happened mary yeah talks about we were great when we were together if this is great then maybe I don't want it. it. It's a little bit confusing to me that Cody has this narrative now that there was never any good times. We have lots of video. We have lots of photos. There was good in our relationship. So why do you think, we've talked about, we've talked about this before, but I think it's an important point. Why do you think Mary gives a shit what, how Cody appraises the relationship? When Cody says... Uh, you know, we were never in love. The relationship was never good. Why does why does Mary care? Because it was thirty years of her life. Like she gave that to him, and like for him to say that, mm-hmm. I think would be really offensive. What do you think? I think it's. Be- I think it's. It's. Um, it's a. It's. I'm trying to not use the word gaslight, but I think it's very invalidating of her emotions. Mm-hmm. So he's, he's not only saying, I don't want to be with you right now, but he's saying, hey, everything that you've ever felt for me was all bullshit. I lied the whole time. I lied the whole time. You've been, you, you have no ability to read relationships. You have no ability to perceive connection. You have no, right? It undermines everything about her whole life. Yeah. Ugh, he's still abusive outside of it. Right. It, it, is a, it, is a, it is an absolutely a controlling and invalidating uh, behavior on his part, 100%. Cody's always been kind of intense, even when he's just talking seriously. You know, he tends to have this face. Woo! I call it his murder face. I hate it. I'm like, you can't use the murder face on the kids. She's like, get in your pajamas. I'm like, that's too scary. What's, what's your scary face? Yours, this is yours. No, you go, you go. <laughs> You'd be terrible in a fight because, like, your tell is like, I could, you, I could see you getting, you, you, I could predict your swing like a mile in advance. As I'm getting rid of things, it's actually getting rid of something in me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rebecca, how are you? Hey, good Mary just dancing in the background. <laughs> her inability to deal with intense emotions drives me crazy. Yeah. It's like hard to watch, right? Like she, it's obviously a really painful thing for her, and so instead of saying that or acting like that, it's gonna be like goofy. Yeah. Mary, hello. Not engaged yet. Okay, we've got, we've got to but get the but we got to get the venue down. You know? <laughs> yeah, because we're not engaged yet. But you've got to get your, like, the wedding venue locked down, you know? He's already locked me down. But the wedding venue, he's really got to get that locked down. Oh, goodness. 
I feel like it, it goes engagement, then you lock down. Like, ha- so he, she knows he's going to propose. There's like, a, we're missing a, the element of surprise. Uh, imagine if, <laughs> imagine if Enzo were our, our son Enzo, if mm-hmm. if he was dating a girl, a woman like Christine in his twenties, you'd Ugh. be like, this is a major red flag. <laughs> Right, because it becomes run. more about the wedding than like. Yeah, I mean, I think. Look, I understand that she's been waiting a long time. I understand that she's excited to be in a relationship that feels healthy, healthier, where the guy actually likes her. I get it, but objectively, this feels there's some red flags. She needs to she needs to cool her jets. I don't understand why we're going out of order here. How do you know that he's actually going to propose? I don't know. (laughs) But but he did. She was right. He did. I know. But I know. But I mean, there's a lot of assumptions there. But why is she so? I mean, it's just like if if I was a therapist, if I were her therapist, I would say, Christine, why are you so held? Why are you trying to lock down this relationship so quickly what is it what is the what is it how does it serve her mm-hmm. right she could date him for a couple of years and get the connection and get the align you know they could make out on the reg if they were just dating why does she want to lock him down right mm. which makes me feel like there's other, another driver the driver is her anxiety about being alone the driver is her feeling like no one's cared about her the drive like there's other insecurities or issues that she has and that he may have that's leading them to go at this breakneck pace. Mm-hmm. But it's distressing for her kids. You didn't see it, but in the last episode, the kids were all like, you, this is too fast. Yeah. Um, that he's Christine's soulmate. She's very excited about the relationship. I'm offended for her on the idea that she would be stuck with me for eternity when her soulmate was out there to be found. I'm offended. I don't know what the hell that means. He's offended f- for her. Yeah. That she stuck with him. And I was like, she doesn't believe in the religion anymore. She, like, she ousted you. Robin doesn't seem happy. I don't believe that's a, an indicator about our relationship specifically. I think it's about a big picture. My wife's unhappy. It's, it's probably not due to me, though. It's, or it's not how our relationship is. Yeah, nothing about, <laughs> yeah. Our relationship's perfect. I think his realization after I took the steps for the separation through the church. Don't you think it's odd that she talks for him? Why does everyone talk for Cody? I would find it irritating if I was Cody. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. What, mm. I don't know what's going on here. I'm guilty of marrying people I wasn't in love with. I just think that he has amnesia <laughs> when it comes to the past because he, you know, you just can't keep up that kind of pretense for 20 years. So so this is the other side of it. Why do you think Cody has this need to invalidate the relationships in that way? Why can't Because it allows him to not take accountability, which is his theme. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to think about it other than it offends me to think that I would be stuck with those three women. I don't think he understands the word, the, the, the definition of offense. It offends him? I I find it offensive for you to say that you don't want to be stuck with the mother of your children. I find right. I feel That's like true. you're offensive in that you don't understand marriage and that you you took all these all these souls and humans for granted. I am offended by everything you do, yeah, Cody, Al's and is, your hair. Okay, your, your hair is mostly <laughs> offensive. All right, Al's on one right now. <laughs> It offends me to think that God would cause me or them to suffer. Let's let's hang on that and stop making people stay in these terrible relationships. It offends me that I have to suffer through you. (laughs) But he is he is screaming, let's blame everybody but me. I'm now I'm going to even blame the religious doctrine over myself. You know, David, what we should do what? is do a drinking game every time Cody skirts accountability. We would be plastered. Oh, my God. Did. That would be so funny. 
Oh God, not again. Yes, we would need to utilize probably most of this area, (laughs) especially if you're to have almost 700 people. (laughs) They don't like it necessarily, but they don't not like it either. I think that they don't like it. I don't think that this, Christine has the narrative that the kids really like to see her under, you know, undercover. They like it. I don't think so. I think the kids, I think it's too much. Mm-hmm. I can show you some pictures of mine, so you okay. can, <laughs> okay. so you can see cool. how green it is. Well, he saw yeah. a wedding here one time, and that's where he thought, like... Oh, yeah. I, like I said, I seen a wedding here, and I thought it'd be so cool to have a wedding here. Little did I know that it could be me. <laughs> that it could be you? Mm-hmm. None. Oh, my gosh. These kids look super happy. I'm with the kids. Dial it, she, dial it down. Just dial it. I mean, I think Christine's just proving to herself, like, she's trying to convince herself that she's attractive. Is that what it is after Cody? She like, just what's the mechanism she's, she's here? She's giddy. She's happy. I guess. I just don't... Did mm-hmm. we kiss that much when we were dating? In college? Yeah. Okay. This is so gross. Yeah. Love the kids. Like, oh, God. Mom's playing tonsil hockey with Dad now. It's gross. So being in those was when I realized it'd be kind of cool to have a soulmate. It'd be even cooler to have a really big wedding. It would be cooler to have a big wedding than a soulmate, Christine. That's an interesting quote. She's she's got some red flags. Yeah, that's a red flag for me. Yep. Next time on Sister Wives. I'm looking forward to the next one. Sounds like there's going to be more drama in the next one. I haven't seen the I saw your reaction to the one before this. I need to watch the one before. I thought that was very boring. Did you like that episode? It was too much of Christine biting her lip. Yeah, it was a lot. Yes, it was a lot <laughs> of makeouts from Christine, and then really nothing happened. That mm-hmm. was a, I feel like that was a wasted episode. You have Mary acting like she's happy, and Christine making out. That was essentially what this covered. Till next time. All right. Till next time.